Well, hello, hello, good morning, welcome. Oh my gosh, as usual, it's another beautiful Friday morning, afternoon here in Michigan. We have had, like, honestly, like the best weather all week long. It has just been perfect. Well, hi, Marianne, how are you? Good morning. I was just saying how awesome. I bet you guys have had really good weather in Iowa also. This is, if every week in the summer could be like this week has been, it would be amazing. Like not too hot, but sunny and warm enough. And oh my gosh, just beautiful. So loving this summer weather. And let's see, what else? Oh, we had recital. Lily had her dance recital last weekend, and that was awesome. We had, there were some changes. There was a new venue that we had the recital at for forever. We've had it at one location up at Central Michigan University in Mount Pleasant. Um, oh yeah, it's gonna be really hot. Yeah, you know what, Marianne? I think it's maybe not 100, but I don't know, 90s, I think I heard, like Sunday, so. Yeah, for Father's Day, it's gonna be a hot one. We're gonna do like a family kind of barbecue. So yeah, <laughs> might have to get the sprinklers and the slip and slides out so that um, we can stay cool. Hi, Sean, hello, good morning, how are you? So um, yeah, oh, so I was talking about recital. So we moved, we used to have, have, um, have recital at a venue up at CMU and then that something happened with that venue so they moved to um, Mount Pleasant High School and we were all kind of wondering like how is that gonna work I mean you know it's just new and different we weren't sure what to expect but it was a fabulous uh, venue um, in terms of you know the setup and being able to see the stage and everything the only thing was and it was good and bad so they normally these recitals can go for like two and a half or three hours sometimes even longer than that and so there's usually an intermission in the middle and she shortened everything up so it was like about two hours maybe a little bit less maybe a little bit more but there was no intermission which was fine but what i realized was that's when i always get a lot of my pictures because um, we get there and lily kind of goes off and does her thing and i don't see her until after she um, dances for part of the show and then she comes out at intermission and we say hello and we get some pictures and and we did not do that. And then at the end of the show, she's tired of being in all those costumes because most of them aren't very comfortable. So she's out of everything. So that was my only like, oh my gosh, I did not have as many um, picture photo taking opportunities as I'm used to. So fortunately we got enough pictures, I think, like during like the winter for um, most of her dances when she was at competitions and things. So anyway, um, let's see. Yeah, Father's Day's coming up on Sunday. I know that's awesome for all the dads in people's lives. So hopefully everyone has a good Father's Day this weekend. And let's see, I think we're gonna jump right in because I actually have class um, this afternoon down at the Stamp Studio. Hi, Wendy. And so, you know, this is one of those, I gotta stay on track so I can get down to the Stamp Studio to be ready for class at one o'clock today. So, um, let's see, we are going to start off, let me make sure, oh, so yeah, we're going to do the drawing for the Coastal Cabana ink pad. Can you see my favorite returning color? Probably truly one of my favorite colors ever, really. Was an in color, came back as a core color, it's one of our brights. Hi Joyce, how are you? So we are gonna do the drawing for the Coastal Cabana ink pad, right? So you got your, you guys know this, right? You got one entry into the drawing if you commented. So anytime, even if you say hello, um, it's, it's load here, maybe, maybe loud. Oh, maybe you're having a hard time hearing, I wonder. Sorry, Wendy, I bet it is loud. I bet everyone's excited. Can you go outside? Oh my gosh, that's what I would do. Go find a picnic bench and sit outside and eat if I could. Um, we actually worked out all week long at workout class. We've been working out outside. So you have to take a bunch of equipment over. It's like an old um, gas station, actually, that's not in use any longer. So we go, like, you know, use their pavement, basically, <laughs> and run around and everything. So, but it's been wonderful. Like, this is, like I was saying, the weather's been so nice, and that has just been amazing to be able to be outside and get a workout in. So... Uh, okay, here we go. One entry for commenting and then three if you share with a comment. And, oh my gosh, can you hear? Um, there are so many entries in here. You guys have been awesome with your comments and your shares, so thank you. I appreciate that. All right, I'm gonna make sure I feel like I have two in my hand. All right, I've got just one. And the winner is Myth, 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 
Miss Beth Martin. Can you guys see that? So Beth, I will have this. Actually, I think she's coming to class this afternoon. So Beth, maybe you won't even know. It'll be a surprise, maybe, right? Um, you win the Coastal Cabana ink pad. So I'll have that for you down at the stamp studio in just a little bit. Okay, so um, do you guys want to know what we're going to draw for this week? <laughs> Yay, I know. It's awesome, isn't it, Joyce? Okay, so this week I'm gonna, well here, let me just show you, but I wanna open them up. These are the colored doilies. Oh, thank you, Joyce, thank you. I loved class too, it's always fun to see everybody and I'm so glad you're back in town and that you're feeling better. Uh, sounds like you went through kind of a rough patch for a while, so hopefully things are back on track for you. That's what needs to happen. So, um, okay, here, let me show you. So these are the doilies, so can I remember? Oh my gosh. I'm kind of looking at these. Eey, is this old olive? Maybe somebody can look in the catalog. I don't have my catalog right in front of me. But you get six of each of these. So maybe uh, old olive or maybe granny apple. I don't know. It looks a little more olivey. I'm thinking old olive, but I could be wrong. These I know are coastal cabana. So you get six of the coastal cabana doilies. Maybe I should just show you one. They are like the doilies that we had before. These are there can you see that one that's flirty flamingo so you get six of those and then I think this is grapefruit grove so then isn't that funny that it doesn't show up very well does it the color and then six of the grapefruit grove yeah so that is what we're gonna give away this week is a package of the new colored doilies yeah it does say it doesn't it doesn't feel like six of them in my hand but it is because you get four colors 24 so six and then if you don't want a color so these are like our white doilies from the past. Um, you can just flip them over and use the back side, which is white too. So they're very versatile, right? Okay, so one entry for commenting and then three entries if you share the Facebook Live video, but make sure to comment when you share it too and you could win the doilies, okay? All right, what is next? Let's see, we're gonna kind of cruise quite along. Um, Actually, you know what? We're gonna do our other drawing right now too. So this, well, I call it a drawing, but I actually only had one online order this week. So there's not really a drawing, right? Um, but Leah Patton put in an online order. So she wins by default. I don't even have to do the drawing, right? She wins the giveaway from last week for an online order, which was a set of the Bermuda Bay Light and Dark Stamp and Blends markers and then the Graceful Glass 6x6 six six vellum, which these um, blends markers are awesome to use right on that vellum. Do it on the back of it and it creates like this beautiful um, kind of stained glass look. So I wanna make sure, cause I, you know, I always kind of say everything that you win, but I thought I'm gonna show you guys. So this is everything that I'm gonna be sending to Leah just because she put a $50 online order in. Um, so she's obviously the winner. So you could get, maybe if you put an online order and you get your chance to win the giveaway that I do each week. So she's gonna get this product. She's also gonna get those two cards and the envelopes um, that I demonstrated last week. And every time you put an online order in of at least $50, um, you also get a free embellishment from me. And if you do more than one order in a month, you get more than one embellishment too. So these are, can you guys see these? These are, what are they calling them? Uh, the Petal Pink Rhinestone Gems. And they actually, for me, I thought they looked a lot bigger in the catalog. Um, and I thought, oh, maybe they're gonna be too big, but they're not. They're, can you guys see? They're like a really nice size. And then a bunch of different shapes. It looks like one, two, three, so four different shapes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 24 of each of those four different shapes. So what does that make, 96? No, 48. No, it's only 12. It's 12 of each of them. Yeah, that makes sense. So 12 of each of four different shapes. So that's the 48. So Leah is gonna get this whole package of goodies. So seriously, she's gonna get like probably between, I'm gonna say 20 and $25 in free stuff just for a $50 online order. So I wanna make sure everybody kinda understands how awesome that online ordering is, right? You get so much free, awesome stuff. So, okay, let me show you what we are gonna give away. I always have to move that stuff off the table so it's not so convoluted over here. Okay, so this week we are giving away, this is the new, it's kind of a twofer here. It's called the Tufted 
dynamic textured impressions embossing folder. So can you guys see that? It kind of almost looks like quilting um, and it's a, one of the thick ones so it's going to have kind of different levels of embossing but I've heard different people say how fun it would be you know when you emboss and then kind of in each of those little um, dots there where the lines cross to put like pearls or rhinestones or something some kind of fun bling in there how beautiful it would use a bunch of them but you know for someone super special that would be kind of cool right so and then the twofer the other part of this drawing that you are going to get if you put an online order in your name goes in the drawing these are the 2017-19 in color flower buttons so I wonder if you guys can see these oh and they're actually really thin so they're more mailable than, I, last time we had buttons, they were really probably like four or five times as thick. So can you, I don't know if you guys can see how thin those are. So there's Tranquil Tide. There's the Lemon Lime Twist. Here is Powder Pink. Takes a sec to kind of focus, doesn't it? This is the Berry Burst. And what did I forget? Um, Maybe Fresh Fig, did I show you guys that one? So five different, those are the, the five in colors. And I tried to look last night, I totally need glasses. I feel like maybe it's gonna stay on here. Well, let's see, I can probably count one, two, three, four, five, maybe five of each of them. So there are 25 different, hi Deb, how are you? Uh, probably 25 flowers, five of each of the in colors in there. So that's what we're giving away if you put an online order in this week in just a little bit i'll give you that host code so your name could go in the drawing to get the little flower um what are they calling them yeah the flower buttons and then the tufted embossing folder and i cannot wait oh my gosh this one looks so pretty i've seen a bunch of projects well in the catalog too with it and so i'm excited to play with that one myself so okay that's what we're giving away this week okay um I think we are ready. Actually, I'm all ready to move the camera down because I got some new stuff and I want to show you guys some of the new product and then we'll do the demonstrations um, of the projects that we're going to make today too. So, okay, um, turn your heads away for a sec and I am going to move this camera. Bear with me one moment. Okay, get this set up. There. Okay, that looks good. We have a little bit of sun coming through, but I think we're going to be all right, right? You guys can see that. Okay, um, let me give you here is actually, we'll not use the grid paper just yet. There is the info. <laughs> Hi, Deb. Um, with the host code. So, this is the host code that you want to use if you put at least that $30 online order in by this next Wednesday, which I think is the 20th yep you're gonna get the projects that i'm gonna demonstrate in just a little bit and your name is entered into the drawing to win the buttons and the tufted embossing folder okay this is the host code the 9q d e s f 6 d and then if you bump your order up to 50 dollars, you get that free embellishment too and this was the example from last month was the free embellishment with your online order. So it won't be these um, petal pink rhinestone gems this month. I haven't decided actually what we're gonna do this month, but I'll be getting those ordered at the end of the month and then those all go out with thank you cards at the beginning of July then, okay? So let me show you, oh, let's, let's take a quick peek at the calendar because we've got more fun stuff coming up in the rest of June, right? So we are right now on Friday afternoon, the 15th. So what, like I said, I've got that simple, beautiful card class down at the stamp studio from one until three. And that class is every single month. So the second Wednesday and then two days later on Friday. The second Wednesday is from five to nine. And then um, the Friday afternoon is from one until three. So I'll flip and show you. There we go. Oh, that glare is going to be there too. But July, the second Wednesday is July 11th from 5 to 9 or July 13th that afternoon from 1 until 3 will be our next Simple Beautiful card class. Sorry about that shadow there. Um, next week, then, we have our group gathering. Um, all of the Inkspired Stampers get together down at the Stamp Studio on the third Tuesday of the month. So that's June 19th at 630 
And then we've got our awesome game, uh, our bingo, bingo night is on Thursday the 21st. And I actually have room for maybe a couple more people. RSVPs were technically earlier this week, but I bought some extra product just in case I end up with a few last minute RSVPs. So if you're interested in playing bingo, let me know, because I've, like I said, I've got room for a couple more people um, so we could get you set up. That's next week on Thursday the 21st, but I would need to know as soon as possible just so I make sure I prep everything for you because I always do like a fun treat for everybody. There's always um, a prize for everybody just for coming. We do make and takes and then we have a bunch of games of bingo where you win product. Um, and that's why I need the RSVP so much in advance so that I can um, um, make sure I have all the prizes available um, for bingo, you know, so that they get here in time basically. So, cause I actually have to tell you a story. Oh my goodness. Um, I had, ha we had our buy one, get one free um, event at the, like the first weekend in June. And I put my orders in like on Sunday after the BOGO sale. Typically I would get an order in like probably on Monday the 11th. Um, if not, the latest would be Tuesday the 12th. But my big order from BOGO did not come until uh, Wednesday this week. And I actually ordered a bunch of product that I wanted to use at class. So I'd gotten a little order, fortunately, Tuesday night, so I was able to put some of the projects together for class. But then, so Wednesday at like noon, thank goodness, the UPS man showed up at my door with the rest of the stuff so I could finish making the projects for class that afternoon, like at five o'clock. So I was like scrambling all around, but I had already used all my other stuff and I wanted to show everybody new stuff at card class this week. So I got that done, but it was kind of crazy, I have to tell you. Um, okay, so then at the end of the month, we have our scrapbook class on Tuesday the 26th. That's always the last Tuesday of the month. Actually, scrapbook and memory keeping classes are anytime from 5 until 9. And then at the end of the month, I'm doing the new catalog kickoff and buy one, get one free event again. I still have so much stuff to give. Well, not give away, but as part of the buy one get one free sale so that is on wednesday june 27th anytime from noon until six and just so you know the buy one get one free event i have all my retired product out on tables you shop from that retired product and then you can get new catalog product for free you still pay the shipping and the sales tax on the new catalog stuff um, but it's an awesome way for you guys to get a great deal, get some retired stuff that maybe you missed out on, get a bunch of new catalog stuff in the buy one, get one free. And then it, honestly, it helps me clean out my craft room so I can make room for more new stuff to show you guys. So it's kind of a win-win for everybody. Um, oh, and we also will do a couple of make and takes with some more new product that day also. And I just love, this is like one of my most favorite times of the year because there's so much new, like that annual catalog is huge and there's so much new stuff to play with. So it's a great, it's just, there's just so much. Like I said, there's so many fun new things to play with to show you guys at classes and meetings and all of those things. So let me know if you're interested in coming to that buy one, get one free event. I just need to know um, probably like by Monday or Tuesday so I make sure to cut enough make and takes for everybody for the Wednesday buy one, get one free event. Oh, and I'm seeing Marianne is asking about online bingo. You know, I have not done that before. Um, I don't know. Honestly, I, I don't have a huge online business yet. You guys can help me do that by spreading the word, um, sharing the, the Facebook Live videos and letting other friends and family know um, about the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio and all the fun things we do here on Facebook Live and the YouTube videos. Um, so anything you guys can do to help me maybe promote this, that would help me find more people that might be interested in online bingo because I think that would be great. But I kind of feel like at this point, I don't have enough people to be able to do it. So I'll keep you posted on that. Um, but thank you for asking, Marianne. I know I wish you were closer so that you could come to these live events too. Um, okay, so that's it for June. We're not even going to worry about July right now. Um, so now I'm going to grab my box. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to grab my box. Actually, here, we'll put that back. That came with my calendar. Um, I'm going to try, either that or I'm just going to start pulling stuff out. Because I don't know, I think I'm just going to pull stuff out and show you like one, one at a time. So I will preface this by saying that a ton of my product, my new product that I just ordered, you know, like I said, that just came in this Wednesday is already, it's down at the stamp studio because I used a lot of it for 
um, the class this week. So I actually brought a couple of the projects back and the product and I'm going to demonstrate those cards in just a few minutes. But this is kind of what else I have in my stash, um, some more new things that I got. And the first thing I want to show you guys is actually these, okay, I love these little clips. So can you guys see these? These are the in color embellishment um, for this year. So a lot of times they'll do buttons or sequins or that sort of thing, but these are um, this cute little like baby binder clips that come in our in colors. So there's Call Me Clover, Lovely Lipstick, Pineapple Punch, um, here is Blueberry Bushel and the Grapefruit Grove. So I just think those little guys are so cute. Um, it looks like you get 25, so you get five of each of them, so you get a good quantity. You can hear them kind of shaking around. And I thought this would be a good prelude to just remind you guys about the In Color Club. So because, let me, I'm gonna go over it real quick because I'm still taking, um, you know, if anybody's interested in the In Color Club, you can still join that. People have asked me about that, you know, they're like, oh, it's not in my budget right now in June. Could I start in July or August? Certainly, you can start whenever you want and you don't miss out on anything. Basically, if you start in July, then your five months start in July. If you start in August, then they just start in August. So then you'll get all of this product each month for five months. Okay, so one month you, for example, might get blueberry bushel and you'd get a full pack of cardstock, the ink pad, the refill, the ribbon, and the marker. It's $35 a month for five months. One month you are the host and you get $15 in free merchandise, anything that you want. And then you also get these cute little binder clips, all of it, the in color embellishment. That's another free item that you get when you're the host of the In Color Club. So if you have any questions, let me know. I would love to get you signed up on the In Color Club. And then one month, you'll be getting these cute little uh, binder clips too, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna move that back just so you guys have that in view. Let's get that centered right there. Okay, so let's see, check these out. Oh my gosh. So can you guys see these? These are the little metallic pearls that come in a gold and a silver. I have to open these up. I want you guys to see these because I haven't seen them either. Oh, there they are. Okay. Oh, look at how cute. And you get a ton of them. Let's see how many are in here. Um, oh, oh, that's funny. 242. So what do you get? 121. That's a funny number of each of these in the gold. I'm sorry. This is gold, right? And then in the silver. Cute little pack of pearls. Okay scoot those out of the way so I don't lose them and then oh okay so these are some more of our um, these are called the basic adhesive back sequins sorry my tongues I'm like tongue-tied today oh you've been wanting to see those well good okay let me know hopefully you did get a good enough picture of them Marianne I haven't used them obviously on a project yet we're gonna try to get these sequins now these are the things that oh my gosh I've never I haven't figured out how to open this package or how to keep it very well intact but aren't these so pretty? Oh my gosh, can you guys see these? So, and I don't know what the, maybe this is petal pink. So they're really kind of soft, um, subtle colors. Maybe soft sea foam. I could be totally off on these. Um, I don't know, that one, maybe that's the soft sea foam. Maybe the other one was more of the mint. You guys are gonna have to look and see. I don't know the names, the colors of these. This looks almost like an iridescent kind of a pearly, shiny white, and then another kind of iridescent. Ooh, those are beautiful. So check those out. So they're all a little bit different, and yet they're they're similar, so kind of similar tones, which is kind of good because then you can use, you know, uh, if you use one full sheet, then the other might kind of work similarly for you. So ooh, those are very cool. Okay. Um, ooh, okay, now I want to show you guys, so you know how much I love ribbon, right? So I had to get all three of our colors of, what are they calling this? This is the mini striped ribbon. So it is similar, oops, I gotta get that in view, right? We've got, oh my gosh, the grape one. What is, what's that color called? Gorgeous grape, that's it. Yep, and then I think this one is Poppy Parade. Oops, I flipped it the other way. Yep, Poppy Parade and Bermuda Bay, okay? So Gorgeous Grape, Poppy Parade and Bermuda Bay, and let's open one up. Where are my scissors here? Let's check this out. Because it looks like it's pretty similar to our Lemon Lime Twist ribbon that we had, but it's not 
it's not as wide. So I think this was maybe a three, three eighth inch. Is it gonna tell me that? Um, usually it does, but I don't feel like, oh no, it says a quarter inch. So maybe the other was a three eighth inch, but isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. These are all such fun, bright summer colors. Doesn't that, it just looks like ice cream or sherbet or something. So that's gonna be pretty awesome. I'm gonna love that ribbon. Like I said, you know me in the ribbon. Okay, so I'm gonna give you kind of a variety here. Okay, so this was one stamp set that I had did not use in class. So I'm gonna be very excited to use it um, coming up. Um, and I think what caught my eye, so in the catalog was this flower, and this is another one of our distinctive stamps. So that patent that they have um, on these stamps that are kind of real photographic images that they've turned into stamps. So can you guys see, I mean, this is gonna be beautiful stamped. It's not quite as beautiful kind of in the gray on the, on the um, cover, but we've got some great sentiments too. You always can use these get well um, soon sentiments. I don't feel like we have enough of those. Uh, oh, that's cute. Sending you healing vibes, wishing you a quick and complete recovery. Oh, if hugs and kisses could cure, you'd be immune to everything. Feel better soon. Oh, that's very sweet. And then some other um, leave um, kind of ideas there too. So very cool. Love that stamp set. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, I'm going to show you. So I got um, both packs of the twine. So this is kind of a silver. Oh yeah, Marianne, <laughs> the tutti frutti, those sequins were super bright. These are, yes, they're more of a pastel, kind of a subtle, but they're still really, really pretty because they're very sparkly still. I don't know if you could tell that um, on camera, but they are. They're, I'm looking at them again as I'm talking to you, and they're gorgeous. Um, okay, so this is the twine. So can you guys see there's a little bit of silver? Maybe, I don't know if you can see it so much. Let me open one up so you guys can see. And in the meantime, I'm going to look at this color because I feel like, yeah, silver and petal pink. Okay. So here, oops, there's now, can you guys see? Oh, I don't know if you can, isn't that funny? Maybe it's too bright, I don't know. Every once in a while you might get a, a glimpse of it, but it's very pretty. It's kind of a white with a little silver stitching and then the petal pink. And then this one is a pool party. So pool party and white and a little bit of silver in there too. So those are gonna be fun. I, maybe those are part of, they kind of feel like baby colors to me, but I don't. they don't have to be, but that's you know a lot of those soft, colors I tend to think of like that um okay what else we've got some more fun oh the brads I love brads and we got rid of them for a while so I'm excited to have these back so there are basic brads and then metallic brads so let's take a look at these okay so these are our basic and I, it's funny because I saw them on a project and I didn't even I thought it was more like a little sticky adhesive backed thing but it was um Oh, and, so, and they're different. Ooh, okay, this is cool. So can you see, um, that looks like probably Grapefruit Grove, but I don't know for sure. So that's kind of a medium size. Then they've got some teeny, teeny, tiny, like little baby ones, and oops, make them go flying. And then here's a big one with little, can you guys see the little holes? I don't know, can you see that? Maybe you can see it better in the blue. There, let me get that in the light. I don't know, can you guys see that? But three different sizes, and it looks like four different colors. So those are the basic brads, right? I love all these little trinkety things. I mean, I love the stamp sets too, but I love to get all the embellishments. <laughs> all the ribbon, all the embellishments, all the paper. Um, okay, so then these are the metallic brads. So I bet they're gonna be the same idea where you're gonna get, here, maybe you can see a little bit better now. Can you see? So those are, looks like gold and silver and copper in three different sizes. So we've got a nice variety there too. Sorry, I feel like, am I always over? I need to be under here a little bit more. Okay, what else? Oh, let me show you. So we actually are using one of these ruffled ribbons on our card, so I'll show you that in a sec. But these are the other new, um, ooh, hmm. Let's see, are the holes in the larger ones like buttonholes? Let's, let me look again, Marianne. Let's see if I can show you. Because it's like they're not showing up very well in the camera. Um, I don't know. Can you see that? Um, let me look at it kind of off the... 
I don't think you'd want to put anything inside of them, if that's what you're meaning. Like, um, they would be pretty hard to string, maybe some of our thread, but I feel like even our baker's twine is going to be a little bit too thick. So, yeah, they're just, they're really, they're pretty tiny holes in there. There, I don't know if you can see that way. Isn't that, I don't know. Maybe I need to stop moving there. If I hold it super still, I think you guys can see the little holes, but they're pretty tiny. But they just add like a nice little accent. Yeah, but it looks a little bit like a button. Yes, I would say that, absolutely. Yep, yep, very cute. Okay, so back to the ribbon. These are the in colors, obviously, the 2017-19 in colors. Oh good, I'm glad you can see that now, Marianne. Um, so we don't have Tranquil Tide. Oh, you know what? Actually, that's on another card. You know, I did a YouTube video. I'm gonna have to upload that and you'll be able to see that one um, in the next few days. I'll get that uploaded. But let's see, we've got Berry Burst, Lemon Lime Twist, Powder Pink, and Fresh Fig in this awesome ruffly. We had some ribbon like this a couple of years ago. It might have been a little bit wider or maybe it had a little bit more of a stitch to it, but this is, I love this, like, oh, it's so kind of soft and dainty looking. And then all the other fun colors too. So ribbon, love it, love it, love it. Gonna have a great time with that ribbon. Okay, what else? Um, how about, oh, let's check this one out. So this one I didn't use on a card yet either, but I'm very excited to. This was probably one of the sweets that I was most excited to get from our new catalog, the Tropical Chic Sweet. And you know what? I have to run and get the paper too. You guys have to see that. Hold on one sec, because I forgot to bring that paper over. Hold on, ladies, hold on. Oh, good. Oh, and then I thought, oh no, is it where I left it? But it is, okay, good. So you guys get a little bit better feel for that tropical um, feel, I guess, you know, the the essence of the paper, right? So this is that sweet. So let's pull, I think this is all of them. Okay, so here's one, and then there's the other side, and kind of a fun, it's almost like a zebra. But I, I think one of my things that I really love about this, like this one right here, it looks like Hawaii to me. It makes me wanna go back to Hawaii, like the palm fronds and the, and the beautiful, what kind of a flower is that? Who knows what kind of a flower that is? I need to know that, I don't know, I'm more, fern leaves and then look at oh i love the color in there too okay mm, let's see more fun awesome right and then we used actually we used this on my cards this is the one that i said i did a youtube video on oh what is that my video has uploaded i don't know what that's talking about we'll worry about that later but there's the front and then there's the back side uh, with that one also so that's a this was probably my favorite that's why i used it first um, out of that pack of paper so this is all the sweet the paper and the stamp set and the thinlets so here is the tropical chic stamp set um, with much love and thanks you are the greatest thank you and then a bunch of other kind of um, leaves and fronds that of course let's open these up the tropical thinlets here it's down here okay let's see what these are all about i'm sure these are going to cut a bunch of the images in our stamp set. So let's see these. Ooh. Is it? Yep. Okay. It's just one. I always like to do that. Oh my gosh. Okay. So it looks like this is going to cut and make a bunch of detail. These all have the ridge. I've kind of learned that, that like the ridge, that's what cuts things out. Because sometimes these just emboss and they don't cut. And look at that cool. Ooh, I can't wait. Sometimes you just have to put these all down on a piece of paper and run it through and, you know, check it out to see what happens. But that looks very cool, doesn't it? Okay, so I see some fun happening with that stamp set and framelits and designer series paper. And let's see, what else? Oh, let me show you guys. This is kind of cute. This is called, what is this? This is the Twinkle Twinkle designer series paper. So let's see this one. Okay, so it's kind of that, that baby sweet, I guess, I would say, but I'm sure you can find other uses for it, and that, like kind of the constellations. I think that's our petal pink color, right? Ooh, look at that, oh my gosh. That is beautiful, it's like the sky. Can you guys see that? You guys have to, because it, it's like Milky Way, like kind of light and dark. Oh, that's very cool. What's on the back of that one? Oops, more stars there. Oh, that's very pretty too. 
How about that? I love those stripes. Ooh, yay. Some polka dots. So that's those two. Oh, this is maybe soft sea foam with some little stars on it also. This is going to be great. So it could be, you could definitely obviously use it for baby, but there are lots of other options. This looks like a really nice neutral, good for a masculine card too. Some cute polka dots there. Ooh, some more constellations. Very cute. Ooh, and then that's more fun. Oh my gosh. The stitching on that is very, very cool, isn't it? With the Knight of Navy and then some more little stars. So we've got some fun options in that designer series paper. And then, okay, these were, that's what I wanted to show you because they kind of go together. These are the Twinkle Adhesive Back Sequins. So let me open these up. Now these are, they were actually like double packaged. I did open these already because I've already managed to get one off track there. <laughs> so I think you're going to want to be careful with these, but oh yeah, okay, so these are kind of, ooh, oh yes, you want that sweet, huh? I, I agree, Joyce. I think, well, all the sweets, that's always what I go for first, because I love the coordination of it all, right? Okay, so these are kind of a pink, uh, pink white, like vanilla iridescent, so depending on what you see in the light, so there are two sheets of those, and then these are some silver stars, so two sheets of silver, but they've got the um, the little glue dot on the back of them, so they're going to be very easy to work with. So those work nicely with that paper as well. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, let me move this paper out of the way. This ribbon, I think I want like 15 bolts of this. This is the new, my, my favorite, one of my favorite, because I think I have a few favorites. I probably say that a lot. Say, ooh, I love this, and ooh, that's my favorite. How many times will I say that, right? More than we can count, but check this out. Oh my goodness, this is the Granny Apple Green, and it's got kind of a white stitching on the edge. Oh, this is beautiful ribbon. This is called, well, it's the Granny Apple Green, ooh, Textured Weave Ribbon. Now, I think this is a ribbon I could use in many, many colors. Can you guys see? It's, oh, the tech, it is truly like textured. That is beautiful. And it's really soft too. So it's gonna be really, you're gonna be able to make pretty bows with this. Let's check this out. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's gonna make great bows. And I love that it's the same on both sides. Sometimes that's kind of cool to have two different sides, but then when you make a bow, it always ends up, you know, like one side on one loop and the other side on the other. So check that out, oh my gosh, I love that ribbon. Oh, we're gonna have a lot of fun with that ribbon this year, okay? Um, oh, well, so I've already used a whole pack of Mango Melody cardstock, so I had to get another one. Oh, thank you, Marianne. <laughs> it's funny, people are um, always like, how do you make a bow? And I just do it all the time. I guess, ooh, that's weird, look at the light there. Um, I wonder if that's my water bottle. I have like a turquoise, nope, I don't think that is. Hmm. But speaking of water, I'll take a sip. I think there's just weird lighting in here right now. Sorry. Wow, what happened there? I don't know. Maybe that's a little bit better. Maybe it's just this paper. It's like the glare from my Mango Melody paper. But I've already got another pack of paper. That's not super exciting, but it is to me because I love that color. All right, let's see. We've got a couple more things. What are we looking at here? Um, oh, I think I have two packages of these because sometimes you don't get enough of them like to do in a card class, you know, you get four or five of each and I need more than that for a card class. So these are the Tropical Elements. Ooh, well check these out, okay. So here, can you guys see, there's kind of like a leaf and then a pretty flower. Is this, I don't know, is that a hibiscus? Someone needs to tell me, I'm curious what kind of a flower that is. So is it just, maybe it's just the two of them. It looks like, yep, just two different kinds. And I don't know if you'd want to do that, but that's kind of tan or crumb cake on one side and then a little bit more of a brown on the other. And then those have kind of some cool detail. Or that one is just simple. So these are probably about three or four times as thick as those in-color buttons that I showed you. These are a lot. I mean, they're not ridiculously thick, but the other ones were really thin, I guess is what I would say. So very cool. So yeah, we've got some fun tropical element embellishments there too. Okay, and then last thing to show you guys, oh my gosh. So we're gonna be doing a card with this suite of products. This is like the Broadway bound suite. Oops, shoot, sorry, I think I'm 
What am I doing? I'm hitting something on the camera mount, so sorry if it's wiggling. Okay, but check out this paper. We're just gonna pull it right out of the package. Okay, so there on one side is kind of a, um, a gold foil like this, right? And then on the other side is just some fun prints. So I'm gonna show you the gold. I think I've got it all set so it's gold foil. So we use some of this paper on the, our project already that we're having down at class. And then, oops, here, we'll turn it this way. Look at all those fun numbers with the little dots inside. Aren't those cute? And then some polka dots. So it's like black, um, cut maybe a basic gray, and then gold polka dots. Ooh, I don't even remember that one from the other day. This was when I was scrambling to get ready for class. That is really cute. Oh my gosh, pretty busy, so you wouldn't maybe want to use a lot of it. And then, oops, more polka dots. I must have it a little bit out of order. Sorry about that. And then some big, ooh, that is awesome, right? Okay, now we're gonna flip the paper over and I'm gonna show you the other side of it all, okay? So there's that, a little bit more of that paper, right? The balloons are super cute. There's some fun stripe. I think that this is Lemon Lime Twist is the stripe. And that looks, doesn't that look like little um, paper lanterns in the sky kind of thing or, you know, on a, on a screen and porch or something? Super cute, right? And then, ooh, look at the party hats. Look at that set up there. Very, very cute. I like the paper too, Marianne. I agree. I was so excited to use this paper, really. Oh, more fun party cakes and cupcakes and things there. Hi, Amy Jo. How are you? And, oh, and the color combination. This is lovely lipstick. And then there's black and then the um, lemon lime twist. So it's a great color combination too. I love that. Because sometimes when I look at lovely lipstick, I think it looks more red, but definitely in this suite, it makes it feel more pink to me, I think. And then, oh, more party hats. I must just have that kind of pulled apart. So anyway, awesome pack of designer series paper. You're gonna need, I've already ordered another pack of it because I know I'm gonna need a lot of it. <laughs> okay, so I think that is everything I wanted to show you guys. Um, I wanna do a quick reminder. Let me, hold on one sec, one sec. I'm gonna just check my notes because I feel like maybe I've forgotten something. Let's see, nope, I think we're good. So the one thing I wanna tell you guys about or remind you is, because now I'm gonna do the demonstrations, is don't forget about the super summer giveaway that I'm doing. So all summer long, you can earn entries into the drawing and I'm gonna give a bunch of product away um, at the very beginning of September, we'll do the drawing because this super summer giveaway runs all summer. Hi, Nikki, how are you? So June, July, and August, you get one entry for each event you attend, you get two entries for every $50 you spend, and this includes online orders too, okay? The reason really why I'm telling you about this again is because you get two entries into the drawing for each picture of a project that you post like the project that I demonstrate on Facebook Live. So when, like for example, Marianne just posted a picture of a project last night saying, oh, Amy, you inspired me. It was like the same layout as the card that I did last week. So she gets two entries into the drawing just for posting on our Facebook group, okay? You also get two entries if you bring a new guest to class, three for joining a club, which is Simple Beautiful Card Club, Scrapbook Club, Memory Keepers Club, Paper Pumpkin, or In Color Club. Um, and then five tokens or entries if you purchase the starter kit or host your own private party or class, okay? So lots of great ways that you can get entries into the drawing, whether you're local or you're not local, there are still ways for you to um, get entries into the drawing to win some fabulous new product at the end of the summer, okay? So now I'm going to show you these projects that we are making. All right, I'm going to get my grid paper. Move that guy up just a little bit so you guys can kind of see what's going on there. Let me, I gotta make sure. Every day or every week when I do this, the paper, it's, I don't know how I have it set up a little bit different every single time, but it seems like it happens that way. Okay, so that's just gonna stay there. So you can see the host code, right? All right, I think we're good. I think you guys can see. Okay, hold on, I need another sip of water. Mm. And here we go. Okay, so this is the first project that I'm gonna show you guys. And I absolutely love 
all of the product in this um, on this card. So let me show you the product. We are using, this is the stitched all around stamp set. So we're using this Enjoy Your Special Day. There's also a Best Wishes, You Are My Sunshine, and then it says My Only Sunshine. Hi Kim, how are you? We've got Lovely Friend Darling. Oh darling, you are fabulous. Can you see that one? And then thank you over here too. And then just some other kind of accent images. So that's the stamp set. And then the framelits, these are the stitched label framelits. I'm gonna pull these out and I'm gonna show you the ones we're not using. Oops, that's really stuck on there. Sometimes this adhesive is so strong. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that totally stuck to the inside of the, all right, sorry, little moment here. Wow, yeah, that's like, Maybe that's a little bit too strong, that adhesive. Okay, so we'll get that guy out there. So this is a cute little, kind of a little label. And then this, these are a couple of other like larger labels. Oops, sorry, you can't see that. There's a bigger one and then a smaller one. And I love all the detail there. Let's see if I can put that right on there. And then there are more on the other side, right? These are just gonna make some cute um, like etchings along borders. And then another really pretty kind of, it's another like stitched edging, a couple of them there. And then this one, I, ha I actually, it just embosses. And I actually then took some paper or um, scissors and cut it all out. Um, I, I'm gonna have to think about what I'm gonna do with that. I might have to see an idea to get the inspiration because it's very cool, but I, I did, I used it and then I was like, well, what am I gonna do with this? So anyway, we'll, we'll be working on that one, right? But an awesome set or suite of products, right? And, oh, then I'll show you, here's the embossing folder too. So we are using, this is the Striped Scallops Textured Impression Embossing Folder, okay? All right, so let's get started. Finally, right, I did a lot of talking and showing, but I love all that new product. Okay, let's make sure we get everything that we need here. All right, so why don't we do, let's do our embossing of, so, ooh, hold on though, I gotta tell you guys, this is the new Granny Apple Green color. I absolutely love this color of cardstock. And then our Highland Heather. I may have used this, I feel like I've used it a few times. I don't know if it's been on Facebook Live or not. But I love, isn't that really cute? The green and purple is always a really fun color combination, I think. Okay, so let's, we're gonna emboss this piece first. So let me grab my big shot. Probably should move that paper out of the way, right? So we can actually emboss it. Okay, we need our big shot platform. And this is one of the regular embossing folders. So we need two of our plates here, okay? So we want the scallop stripes. Oh, and this was something that I just discovered. Can you guys see there's a line along here? So now it helps us get our paper straight inside there, okay? Can you guys just barely see that line across there? So we're gonna lay that down on here. Where's the other clear one? There it is, okay? Crank in our handle. Oh, I should have done my stamping too. Oh well, we'll just have to bring the big shot back over again. Okay, so we've got this. I'm gonna get my platform all set up though. All right, check out the embossing here. Sorry, I'm trying to keep organized, right? Okay, so, ooh, isn't that cool? Can you guys see the scallops on there? I love that embossing folder. All right, so we got that. Now, let's move the big shot out of the way. We're gonna do our stamping and then we're gonna do the die cut of this awesome label. Cause that's what I didn't show you. Where did I move the framelits now? Oh my goodness. Oh, well they're right here in front of my face. So those are the ones that we didn't use. And then I used the couple that we did use, or I put the couple that we did use in the back there. So we're gonna use that awesome label. And then this little baby heart too. We use that guy also. Okay. Let me grab my white cardstock. Move that off of there, actually. Okay. So here's my Highland Heather ink pad. Purple, pretty, pretty purple. All right, we're gonna do, I'm trying to see which way is right side up. It looks like that way is. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Oop, <laughs> it's upside down, but that's okay. There you go, enjoy your special day. We're gonna cut it out so it doesn't matter if it's right side up or not. Um, you know what, while we're stamping, we are also gonna do this. 
So with this little strip of paper, I wanted to add, can you guys see, I just did some stamping kind of all along there. So we're gonna do that with this stamp right here. And again, our Highland Heather ink. Here I am. So get this open and closed and open and closed. Okay, so we're gonna ink this up. And I'm gonna maybe turn it this way. Let's see, I'm gonna give myself room here, right? So we'll do one. And these can be, I kind of wanted them um, not all exactly the same. So I'm moving this kind of left to right a little bit so I get different parts of the stamp. And this does not have to be perfect in terms of the spacing between there, although it looks like I did a pretty good job. Oh, thank you. I like that color combination too, Marianne. Okay, let's punch. We're gonna punch this guy out right here. So this, oh, I should tell you, this strip, sorry, you need measurements, one inch by five and a half inches, okay? So one inch wide, we're just popping that in there. Get that one going there, right? And then, now we can do our die cutting. Yep. Oh, that's funny, look at this. Here, this is like a great um, little use of paper. We can put that little heart right on there, can't we? Ha ha, how about that? That little bit that we punched off. Okay, so now we need our big shot. We've got our magnetic battery. Did that? You guys are still here, right? Um, yeah, I'm thinking she's thinking that I'm done, but I'm not done yet, Lil, sorry. We have to call back in a little while. Okay, so we're gonna put this piece right on here. And then we're gonna put our little heart. Let's see if we pull that out. Can you guys see what we're doing here? And then the other clear piece right in here. Okay, so we are cranking our handle, running these guys through. All right, there we go. And so here's our little heart and it actually has stitching on it also. So check this out. Can you guys see the little stitched edge around that heart? Super sweet and cute. And this I have to put back in my package so I do not lose it. Now, this guy, let's see if everything will, ooh, that's kind of tight in there. I think I only have one sheet in there. Isn't that interesting? Everything's good though. Yep, we're gonna be fine. <laughs> ooh, and actually almost all of it. So what I didn't realize, can you guys see there are a couple, where's my paper piercing tool? We're gonna grab this guy. So there are a couple of them, like those three popped out, that one did, that one did not. But what I started to do, I thought these pieces inside here, it's like the outside edges are the ones that, that were supposed to die cut. But these are just a little bit of stitched edge detailing. So those do not pop out. You don't want those. Likewise with these right here, I'm gonna turn this around this way. So these guys need to pop out too, those little guys right there. But again, these do not need to pop out right there. And then there's one more. So sometimes, if I would've cranked that back and forth a few times, I probably wouldn't have had to punch any of those or pop any of those pieces out. But I didn't do that because sometimes I'm, I'm afraid everything shakes too much. So, okay. I think we are good to go here. Trying to keep organized, ladies, because I have to take this back down to the stamp studio after we're done with Facebook Live. It's like a lot of pressure for me sometimes <laughs> to make sure I don't miss anything to get it back down there, right? Okay, so I think I need to give you guys measurements, right? This is our piece of cardstock, our awesome Granny Apple Green cardstock, right? That measures, so the cardstock was eight and a half by 11. We cut it in half at five and a half inches, and then we scored it in half at four and a quarter inches, right? And then we had our piece of granny apple green cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? And then I already gave you the dimension. This was one by five and a half, and then we just stamped and punched it. So let's use our adhesive, right? We've got, let me get this going on here. Sometimes that snail doesn't wanna work quite as well as I need it to right? Okay, let me put that guy back there. And this is going to kind of go about through the middle. And if you lined up your scallop embossing correctly, that's going to work perfectly, right? Now we need our black baker's twine. 
we're going to run a little bit of this. We're going to do a couple of loops around here, actually. So I'm going to get a bunch so I don't have to worry about whether I have enough. Sorry, I feel like I'm flicking everything all over the place. So there's one, two. So we're doing two loops of our baker's twine. And then we're going to tie this in a bow kind of down at this end of things. That always ends up on the wrong side, doesn't it? Get our bow made. Okay. There. Ooh, I wish someone would say something. It's too quiet. <laughs> Is that like a joke on Facebook Live? Oops, did I actually cut through that? I think I did that a little too quickly. There, we'll trim that one down a little bit. Okay. Get my twine back in there, right? Okay, so now we can adhere this piece. Let's scoot it over maybe a little bit more. I know, you know what we're gonna do before I put that on because I wanna make sure. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good. Let's put our dimensionals on the back of this guy right here and we're gonna add him right on there also, okay? Put a few of those on there, right? I'll peel those backs off. Oops. Didn't quite get that one. There we go. All right, I'm gonna add him. Kind of get him centered. That looks good there. That's a pretty big bow, isn't it? Oh, what's Mary Ann? Oh, the <laughs> oh the embossing folder. Yes. Ah. Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> With the stamping on there too. I appreciate that, Mary Ann. Okay, there, that's good enough. All right, so we're gonna add some adhesive. I'm gonna put a bunch of adhesive because it's so embossed, right? Let me make sure that it stays on the card well. Okay, and that is gonna go there. And then where's my little, oh, did I lose that little heart? I was trying to do such a good job and keep track of it, but now, oh, there it is, good. Okay, so we need a little teeny tiny, one of our little mini dimensionals, because I wanted to pop him right on there also. And you know what I realized I did forget down at the studio? I'll show you guys in a sec. But here, isn't that a cute card, right? So there is that little heart with the stitching. And then isn't that, this has was a very, very popular um, framelit and stamp set at class the other day. This was um, a lot of people really enjoyed this, especially because it was really easy um, to kind of run it and get everything to pop out of there too. So, um, but what I forgot was my um, faceted gems. I realize those are still down. So these are some of the small black faceted gems. I just added those for a little bit more detail. So I think it's good either way, right? But I will, if you put an online order in, you're gonna get this project and I'll make sure to put those little faceted um, gems on there too. Those are the ones that come like in the black, Blackberry Bliss, I think it's Mint Macaron and maybe Grapefruit Grove. They kind of, they look like rhinestones, but they're colored. So yeah, so that's one of the projects. Now let me kind of scoot this stuff out of the way and I will show you the other one. Okay, bear with me just a sec. Cause I do, I have to make sure <laughs> that I get this all back down to the studio. All right, I think that's good. All right, next project. Oh, here, hold on, stamp set too. Okay, oh my goodness. Okay, so check out this next card. I So this is a total case from the catalog. Hi, Mary, how are you? So this, I loved everything about, you know how this was that designer series paper that I was showing you earlier? I loved everything about this stamp set and the framelits and the designer series paper. They've got the awesome, actually it's these right here, I think the gold, um, what are they called, the metallic pearls, the gold, those would be fabulous on there too. I did not use them on this card because I think there's already enough going on too. But let me show you kind of everything about how to make this card also. Okay, and somehow my paper moved. Flinging, I'm flinging too much stuff. All right, so stamp set, the Broadway birthday stamp set. There's a hooray, and then you can stamp the little dots inside there too to make Oh my gosh, I, I have not done that yet. That's going to be a great thing to use the Stamparatus for. Um, then there's Wish with more little dots inside there. You're never too old to make a, um, well, I guess make a wish probably is what I would say, right? And then the cute embellishments there, there's the Make A, probably Wish. It's your birthday. 
You deserve it and let's celebrate you. So awesome stamp set, right? And the framelits. Oh, you know what? Uh-oh, that's what I forgot. Well, oh no, I did. I grabbed this stuff in the studio and I did forget to do that. So you know what? Let me think about how's this gonna go then, ladies. I'm not gonna be able to do this card for you right now. Cause you know what we don't have? Oh my goodness. I grabbed the one set, but not, or did I? Oh shoot, they're right here. Never mind. Okay, we're good to go. A little moment there. I didn't have the framelits in my tub. <laughs> okay, so here we go. The Broadway Lights Framelit Size. So again, these are the ones that we're not using. Man, that adhesive is strong. It's doing that again. Yay, thank you, Marianne. <laughs> I was having like the moment of panic there. Okay, so this one says Wish, and then the other little embellishments here, right? And then the couple that we are using are back here, okay? So we are going to use this piece on our black piece of paper. We're going to use this one on the pink. I'll show you that in a second. Then we stamped that little baby, okay? So let's put those all right there. Let me give you dimensions before I get distracted because there are a few pieces on here and you're going to want to know sizes of things. Okay, actually move this guy over here. All right, so we have, this is our lovely lipstick color, right? Uh, thank you. Happy Friday to you, Mary. <laughs> I know, I agree. Uh, Fridays are awesome. Okay, so again, we cut our card in half, the card stock at five and a half, and then we scored it in half at four and a quarter inches, and then we made a tall card instead of kind of a wide card, right? Okay, then we have a couple of pieces of our designer series paper, right? The Broadway designer series paper. Each of these measure one inch by four inches, okay? This piece of designer series paper measures three inches by four inches. And then this is the other one that we need because we're gonna actually um, kind of die cut this. This lovely lipstick piece measures one and a half by four inches, okay? And then these are just scraps of paper to kind of do our other stamping and things, okay? So let's do our stamping and then we will do our die cutting. So we've got that one, this is just a die. So I'll show you that in a sec. We want to do our make a stamp and then the little party hat. We're gonna do, I'm just opening those up like that because we have just a little bit. So we're gonna stamp our party hat. Yay, look at that cute little guy. And then the make a, and we don't even want the line. We're gonna stamp it on here, but we're gonna just cut it all off, okay? So those go there. Now we are gonna stamp See, we're gonna cut that one, we're gonna die cut that one. So this piece, we're also gonna die cut. Here we go, the white one, we're gonna, you know what I wanna grab? I need this piece right here. So my Stampin' Pierce mat, I'm gonna put that on here, and I am gonna stamp my wish right here in, what is this ink? This is Lemon Lime Twist ink. So I'm trying to get that inked up really well because this is such a solid image. I did have a little bit of difficulty when I first stamped it. A lot of times I think it's that very first stamp because that looks beautiful now, right? So there's the wish. And then we're gonna do It's Your Birthday down below in our black ink. So tap, tap, tap on that. Okay, this is where it gets hard because I want you guys to see, but then I can't see very well. So where am I gonna put that? Maybe right about there. It's funny, my camera is, or my phone is like literally right in the way. So that might've stamped up a little bit higher than I would've wanted, but I think it looks good. You can still read it, right? It'll give me more wiggle room to uh, die cut things too. Okay, so we're gonna move this guy out of the way. Now we're gonna do our die cutting. We've got our big shot right here, right? We are gonna put our little party hat on here and just die cut him out, right? Okay, and then we've got our piece of black cardstock. So there's no measurement on here, it just needs to be big enough for this framelit to fit on here, right? Oh, you know what else we need to do? This one. So this little guy, can you see kind of that detail right along there? That's what we're gonna do with this piece. Okay, so I'm gonna scoot those over just a little bit. So I just kind of want that down along the bottom 
edge of that piece. Let's see, actually, maybe I wanna move that over a little bit because I want those to kind of stay intact there. So there's that. And the other clear piece is right here. <laughs> They're too clear. I can't find them sometimes. Oh, Sean, you're back. Did you have to go to another meeting? <laughs> Maybe, huh? Okay, we're cranking this back through here too. So I wanna get this cut well, all right? All right, so let me show you this guy. Look at that, isn't that awesome? So those all popped out perfectly. So that one's all ready to go for us, okay? Then, what else? We have our little party hat, and this one's gonna pop right out too. Perfect as well, all right? And then here, let's see what this black guy did, right? So yeah, he, so all of that you do not need. You don't need any of this. This, I'm gonna have to find a fun use for those, right? But here is our little piece. Now, I think I can probably just use, kind of in an effort just to get this. Oh, those are popping the little circles out, but I think it's all gonna come out when I do this. Hopefully, I have my Big Shot die brush, but that's all gonna pop right out. So there's that little frame. Isn't that cool? Okay, all right, so let's put all that stuff out of the way. And then I'm gonna show you guys how I put it all together. And then we need this guy here too. Okay, I'm gonna have that little silicone mat. Okay, so I have to lay this card down so I can kind of see what I'm doing and make sure I get my layers. So first of all, we are going to put a little bit of adhesive just along. And this I should be using over here, right? So I don't get adhesive on my little work, my grid paper, right? So there we go. I'm going to add our adhesive there. And I didn't want these to be perfectly straight. So I kind of angled this one maybe up a little bit and then this one kind of going the opposite way just a little bit. I kind of like that when it wasn't totally perfect, right? And then we are gonna add some adhesive along this strip right here and put him along the bottom with that guy right there. Let's see, do I want it, I want it down a little bit lower? Oops. There, I'm getting futzy. There we go. Okay, so that looks good there. Now we have, where's that white piece that I stamped? Oh my goodness. It's here somewhere, right? You guys see it? Where did it go? My white piece. Huh. Oh my goodness. So, cause I kinda, I looked at the time and realized, oh, I've been talking for longer than I thought and I got a little frazzled. Now where is the make? So this piece, I'm gonna cut this one while I'm trying to figure out where that other piece is. We just want this little guy right here. Where did he go? So we're just gonna trim him off, okay? And I don't want that little line underneath there. So just with my snips, I'm just kinda cutting that guy, right? So I was hoping that little white piece of paper that has make, a, and wish would just walk right up and say, hi, Amy, I'm right here. I can't believe you didn't see me. Where did it go? Is it underneath something? Oh my goodness. Does anybody see it? <laughs> Where did it go? It's like a bright green wish. The word wish. Where is it? Oh, I'm, now I'm losing my mind. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, okay, I'm gonna keep going and it's gonna show up. I've got that little guy. Sorry, ladies. Having a moment. Didn't fall on the floor. It's not in the big shot. Hmm. And now did I lose my little make A? Oh my goodness, nope, I've got that one. Okay, hmm, well, I guess I can always grab another. Oh, is it right here? Huh, it was still on my stamp and pierce mat. There it is, <laughs> thank you. Okay, phew, everything's good. I know, I wish you could help too, Marianne. That's never happened to me before. I'm like, I don't have a backup plan. I guess I could just go get more paper, right? It wouldn't be the end of the world. Okay, so we're gonna put this piece, I'm gonna just add a bunch of adhesive on here. And, okay, back on track. Oh my gosh, I love this lovely lipstick color too. Woo hoo hoo, beautiful. Okay, so that's all going there. Now, this is what I was trying to show you guys. So this piece is gonna go here and we're gonna put our little, let's do that. Let's put that right on there too. So this is the Make A and then Wish and it's your birthday. So all that's just gonna be framed. Now, 
of course, like I said, I cased this from the catalog, so I was trying to find the framelit that's gonna cut that out to go behind there, and there isn't one. That's crooked, I have to fix that. So what we have to do is just kind of eyeball it. So I just put this on here about where I wanted it to go, and then I just cut inside, because can you see, you want the white to show behind those dots, but you don't want it to show kind of around the outside edges. Let's see, did that move? It did a little bit. Gotta make sure we're still on track here. We might have to trim it a little bit more. But I, I didn't wanna, I think it's easier to trim this without it being adhered. I thought that was a little bit hard to do because your adhesive, you know, it'd be sticking too much. So I think we're good there. So now we're gonna use our little silicone craft sheet. This is the perfect work surface to just add. Now I could, I'm just kind of going in between the little dots. I could just run right along this and nothing would stick where I didn't want it to because I'm using that little silicone sheet. Okay, so do you see how kind of ugly that looks, right? But it doesn't even matter because we're gonna cover it all up and you won't even know what it looks like back there. So how about that, huh? Looks like I need to trim this little corner maybe a tiny bit so it doesn't show. But there, isn't that awesome? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, now we're gonna add a couple of dimensionals behind, oops, those are the baby ones. I don't want those big ones right here. Okay, here we go. So we've got one here, one there, in each of the corners, and we're gonna pop one. Actually, we do want a baby one on that little guy. We're gonna put one right there. Okay, so now we're gonna add these to our card. Oops, does that ever happen, you guys, those little backings? Don't they go everywhere? And then you find them everywhere later, right? Oh my gosh, I love this card. Love it, love it, love it. And we're gonna put our little party hat on. Thank goodness I found that. I was like, what are we gonna do? Well, we just go get more cardstock. But okay, yay! So that's it. So awesome designer series paper. Love that little marquee. I think that is so stinking cute. And I love this detail down here too, if you guys can see that in the right light. So thank you. And I apologize. Oh, I was having that moment, but thank you for bearing with me. I hope you guys enjoyed these projects today. Um, make sure if you would like to put your online order in, um, make sure to use the host code, this host code right here. You will get this project and um, this project that I demonstrated today if you put an online order in between now and next Wednesday. If you bump your order up to $50, you also get a free embellishment. And just for putting that online order in of at least $30, your name goes in the drawing to win the tufted embossing folder and these super cute in color flowers. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope you have a happy Father's Day on Sunday. And thank you so much. I will see you guys next Friday. Bye, everybody.